Okay, so let's take a look at how you can create a new tenant in Active Directory and then add user and group into Azure Active Directory. Right. So first thing, let's go to create a resource, right? And then next thing we will be doing is finding the Active Directory. You can find that in identity and then you can click on Azure Active Directory. Now the thing is, you will find option to create a new tenant by clicking on create a tenant. Here you can choose Azure Active Directory. By default, you will get free license for default tenant. If you choose B2C option, then it will cost you, right? So in that case, we can move to further configurations, right? Assuming that you are picking the basic Active Directory. Here you add organization name and then initial domain name. Then choose the location where your business is and then click review and create. Now let's say I already created one. So I will move to that particular Active Directory, right? So here, as you can see, I have my Active Directory ready. Right. So whenever you have multiple active directories, you can check the top menu, click switch directory and then click on switch option here. Right. You will see the domain you are in. If the current is selected, you can see that you need a switch to the one where you wish to create the group or users right so i want to create under the default which is this current selected so what i will do is i will just go back to azure active directory and here on the left hand side you see option to create new users and groups now by default you have microsoft 365 group you have your one of the user assigned right now what we can do is we create a new group so let's say group type is for security instead of microsoft 365 so we'll choose security then name this devnami security if this group is not available it will show you that way in my case I will just choose the group name then description security group for company or your company name right here membership type should be set to assigned right so we will manually add the owner and member so let's say no owner is assigned so i will assign one which will be default one in my case now one owner is added next thing would be clicking on create you can also add members here manually by choosing them from the available members added within your organization right next thing we will click on create right now let's take a look at the group okay here you can see dynamic group membership have not been updated due to system delays we are working on the issue that's fair now let's refresh this and you will find our group here right as you can see its type is security and membership type is assigned so i will click on group name which is security group you can see the membership type assigned cloud security object id created at there is one owner and no member as such for now right now in order to add the member what i will do is i will click on members right and then you can click on add members and like i mentioned before you will 
how to go through the list of members within your organization click select right now once you add those members those will be listed here and also you can check them on all members regardless of their user type owners is another place where you can find your name listed right then there is roles and administrator where we can check who is the admin who has which role and so on you can also check the type and their respective description there right now there are admin units you can create so based on the type of members available you can assign them to admin units right there is also group memberships right where you can add membership right here we already have microsoft 365 group right you can create another group and then add them based on that right then there is azure role assignment so if they are doing any specific azure related uh, work then you can choose the subscription and then assign that person give them the resource type right and let's say for example someone you want to work on kubernetes and you create a resource type for that then you can set a role for it then assign that person to that particular role right this is specific for azure right and it should work within azure only and not the domain outside that so let's move to another option which is let's say licenses we already discussed this while setting up the active directory so here however let's take a look at assignment option so in assignment you have let's say microsoft teams as the only license to choose for now we don't have that considering we haven't added any members right so we pretty much covered most of the settings properties and membership so here properties wise you can change group name you can change group description and so on right you can also see that some of the options are locked up right so we looked at most of the user group related management options we can go back to our view here we can find the information about our security group we have only one owner and zero members zero devices and so on based on how we choose to use this group we would be adding members and even further groups right also we get to add the role for the members added so it would be possible for using this particular security group for that intended purpose right so we will just move to group section and here you see now we have two groups here one for microsoft 365 another for security so one user two groups and there you have so everything is pretty much done there you can see how to create a new user also we have learned how to create a group just in case if things are not clear for you i have shown you how to go to azure portal then active directory then within your existing default active directory you can add groups by going to groups and then clicking on new group right and then you will choose all the respective details type of group security or 365 add the group name description add owners and members and create the group right then we come back for adding the user right so to add the user we will click to user section in the sidebar of our active directory now here we have to check that we already have one administrator and we can add new user or invite external user so if we create a new user 
will have to go through that process where you can choose their name and the domain already have you can add your own domain right you know you don't need to rely on azure for that domain right then name first name last name then group selected then their roles so you can click on that choose the type of group they want like security right and you can also remove them then there is a role which is currently the user role we can see what they are azure developer devops then you have compliance admin directory readers writers then variety of services within azure and outside the azure can be assigned to that person you can also block the sign in by clicking yes can limit the location from country then add their job title department company name and so on right so this is specific to adding the user within your group right so like this you have seen how to create a new group within azure directory active directory and also learned how to create a new user within azure active directory